Hi guys, welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm actually um, doing a video to get us geared up for uh, another video I've got coming up. We're doing a couple test recipes today and I'm going to share this one with you because it's not part of the main thing. Um, there's a video response contest going on right now over at Ballistic Barbecue and I'm telling you what, there's some boys cooking up some burgers. And I'm, I'm going to enter, but this is not my entry. This is just to get us excited about making a burger. And um, it was one of the ideas I had, but then I changed my mind. I'm, I'm going to step it up a notch or five. So, tonight though, we're going to, we felt like having a burger after we talked about it. And we've done a couple little patties and stuff. And this is what we're actually just going to have for dinner. So, it's not my video entry, but it's definitely going to get our mouth in order for uh, what we are going to do for that contest. And I believe I'll be making that video, um, let's see middle of the week I believe and, and so anyway I'm gonna show you what I got I have some ground turkey this turkey is ground turkey that I did at Thanksgiving I took I boned and skinned and boned turkey and ground up the breast and thigh meat up for 49 cents a pound I made my own ground turkey so there's about uh, almost a pound in here it's not quite it's a little bit shy and for two of us that's perfect so what I'm gonna do, I've also got an egg for binder, and I may or may not use the egg. Um, I have an onion, I've got um, a little bit, and the onion is for moisture. Um, I've got some dried cherries, some olive oil, um, some salt and pepper and garlic powder. And that's really what I'm gonna put in this one. I'm not gonna get uh, too crazy on this one, but it's gonna be delicious. So that's why I'm bringing you along for this ride because I know you're gonna love it. I know it's gonna get you excited about uh, a possible barbecued burger at some point. And so that's, you know, that's really what I'm here for is to inspire you and keep you uh, excited about cooking. Okay, I'm gonna rinse off some parsley here. I, I always rinse, I have the big sink of vegetable, or the vat of vegetables when we get home from the store. But I, sometimes I like to re-rinse some of these, like parsley for some reason, even though it doesn't grow out of the dirt, like let's say celery or um, something like that, it, sometimes it'll be really gritty. Um, even after I've rinsed it. So I just want to make sure. I don't want any of that in the in the mix. So I've got my parsley. I've got part of a, an onion here. And what I'm going to do with this, when you're dealing with meats that don't have a lot of moisture, you do have to add some moisture back in. And my um, thought process is, if I'm gonna do that, I'd like to be as healthy as possible and maybe not tell everyone at the party what's in the bowl, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna grade an onion. I do this for um, when I do Salisbury steak because you want your Salisbury steak very moist and flavorful. You don't need a lot, but you do need a little bit. So you're just grating it, and you, when you grate an onion, you can see how much water and moisture is really in there. So, okay. So we're gonna go ahead and get all that off there. Oh yeah. And that'll help the burger itself be more juicy because there isn't hardly any fat in that. So, the other part of this <clears throat> is, I'm gonna get a uh, scooper of some sort here. Hmm. Let's uh, use this spatula. So we're gonna scrape this up, get it right there in the bowl. Liquid and all, I want all that liquid in there. It's gonna flavor the meat. It's gonna add that moisture retention that I need. Um, 
because as the burger cooks, this burger has to be well done. And as it cooks, your uh, onion will cook and release more of its value. So because I have these matchstick carrots, I'm going to go ahead and just put a nice little chop and dice on those. It doesn't take long. And again, I only need, well, I put about four tablespoons of diced or uh, grated onion, so we'll call this um, two, three tablespoons of grated carrot or chopped up matchstick carrot, oh, whatever you got. That's what I happen to have, so. And you can, I mean, you can add more to this if you want. I just, this is what I'm doing today, so. Um, I love, love fresh herbs, especially this time of year. I mean, everything is right there for us. So I'm gonna grab this and put a little chop on that parsley. I want that color to pop. So I was watching uh, Root Boy Slim, his video last night on his ballistic barbecue video response. Oh my gosh, it was funny and the burgers looked wonderful. All, everybody's done a great job. So now we're going to chop, 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 or we're going to cut some of this Colby Jack cheese up. Um, Colby Jack is just a nice mixture and blend. And we're going to do enough that we've got slices for the top of the burger and then we want a little bit for inside the burger because who doesn't like to bite down on a cheesy bite of something Ooh, I might have to have a sliver a sliver for the cook mmm delicious and I'll get that put away here in a second so what I'm gonna do I'm going to figure out which ones I want for slices. Okay, I want these for slices, this for dices. So I just want really small um, dice on this. And I got distracted. My husband is out working on our quad. And so he uh, he's making a little bit of noise in the background. And I apologize for that. Okay, and there you go. And then you're just gonna break those up because that was two, two pieces. So they're gonna wanna stick together a little bit, but you break them up, toss them in the pool with the rest of the gang. Okay. Ooh, it's already looking delicious. Okay. <clears throat> To do these uh, okay dried cherries before I get distracted because that happens I've got dr dried cherries and you want mm, gosh it's a handful uh, I'm not gonna measure it I really kind of just judge by how much I have and I'm gonna put a chop on those because they're kind of big and they're cherries you could use dried cranberries you could use raisins you could use apricots anything you want really Fruit-wise, turkey and fruit and summer and barbecue goes hand in hand, <laughs> right? So, nice dice on three or four tablespoons of dried cherries. There you go. Now I'm done with the chopping end of this. And I'm gonna get this out of the way. And Come over here. I need some olive oil down here. So I'm going to go ahead and that's also going to add a little bit of fat so you know our burger isn't really dry. Because if your burger's too dry, it's just going to fall apart. So a couple good tablespoons of olive oil. Go a couple times around your bowl. Again, depending on what you've got in there. Can't decide if I want the egg or not. I've got about, oh, half a teaspoon of homemade garlic powder. Mm. And we want quite a bit of fresh cracked black pepper. 
grind that down. Okay, and then we need Himalayan salt. So I guess you could say this is my teaser for <laughs> um, the upcoming epic adventure of my ballistic barbecue video response burger contest video. I'm so excited. I think that the recipe that we worked out um, together, my husband and I, uh, will be the one that's going to wow the judges if they have had you know anything in the recipe. Most people that cook a lot can almost taste what you've got going on there. So look how pretty that is too. This is a nice burger. And because we started out with not quite a pound of meat, um, you are able, see and I'm worried that this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the egg out. I'm gonna leave the egg out and if I, if I wish I would have put it back in, I'll let you know, okay? If, if it doesn't hold together right, but I, th I think it's gonna be okay. I'm hoping. Okay, so now I've got to form my patties and I'm gonna set those down. I'm gonna grab some parchment separators so I don't have, uh, oh yeah. Okay guys, uh, I've got some elk steaks. I've got four backstrap elk steaks. Mmm, doesn't that look good? That I barbecued off. We can do tons of things with this. We can have breakfast, we can have sandwiches we can have um gosh what else can we have with elk steaks left over we could do a stir fry we could do just anything you want i've also got two chicken breasts up here that i'm cooking um these chicken breasts are bone in so they're going to be really full of flavor and this grill is hot um i'm putting them up there so they're in direct heat i've got my cedar planks right here Ooh, all season. What you want to do is put them smooth side down. And that this middle one was back in a hot spot, but that's okay. You put them smooth side down so you can get some, um, well, take any, uh, kill any germs that might be on there, as well as um, getting that char flavor to your food. I don't believe it's just for sanitation, but that's my little chef's treat. And... I did transfer these, I don't know if you can see, I transferred these burger patties to um, my little burger patty separator parchment paper just because it's easier. I, I figured I was going to struggle with getting that right if I didn't do it. So I'm putting that burger right there and I may have to edit some stuff out, you know, I don't want to give up any of my secrets. Just kidding. Okay. So now we're going to let that, I'm going to turn my heat down a bit because I don't really want, I mean, they've soaked long enough, but I don't want them to catch on fire and too badly. I'll leave the back burner indirect up higher and I'll bring you back when we're a little further along. Okay, guys. All right, I don't know about you, but that looks amazing. So, and it smells so good. This chicken is almost done. It's not quite. I want to make sure when I see juices that they're running clear, you know. We'll just have an insurance policy and keep it right there for a minute. But I am going to go ahead and try to flip All these right, burgers. So I am ready to take this off the grill. Oh, my gosh. I've got, and I'm, I'm going to make sure you can see this. I know you can see the smoking burgers, but I got my ciabatta rolls all browned off on the grill. I just drizzled some olive oil. I don't want to take away from the flavor of anything. So um, we're going to have one that's going to be an okay. odd man out. Now these burgers are done, and don't they look good? They're just, oh my gosh, melting and delicious. So I'm going to get these onto... Uh, toasted ciabatta bun. I did toast them on the grill. I'm wondering where to put this fat guy. Woo! I think that'll be my husband's. It's 
And then I'm going to have to let that one cool down out here because I don't have anywhere to put this one just yet. I didn't do three buns. Um, I'll let it cool down and the cheese kind of set back up again and then I'll put it in there. But that's what we got. Okay, I'm going to bring you in the house. All right, guys, so here's the end result. And <laughs> these are big burgers. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I did toast these ciabatta buns or ciabatta rolls on the barbecue so you can see that. And I'll just go ahead and um, get this one ready for my husband. And, ooh, I get to take a bite of his. Mm, how's that work out? Okay, and then he likes this sweet, hot honey mustard. I don't know. If, you know, actually, it'll be just fine with this flavor profile. And he likes ketchup. So we're going to put some of that down there. And then I definitely want all the rest of the ingredients that should go along with a really good burger. This smells... And I might add, um, tastes pretty amazing. I have a little bite of the burger. I don't know. Let's see if you can see that. That was my treat. Mm, it's so good. Yum. But it is missing the cedar plank action. So we're going to get a better view of that here in a second. So I've got some red onion. Sweet red onion are just classic in the summertime and I've just sliced these up. Uh, it was a half that was left over from a different meal. I also want a beautiful ripe avocado. Oh. You know, I'm going to layer this a little bit differently. Hold on. I'm going to layer it with The brightness of fresh spring spinach, baby spinach leaves. And then we're gonna put a big, gorgeous slice of tomato right there and some delicious avocado. Just to top that off. Now, I probably can't take a bite of that. <laughs> That's a big burger. Look at that. Isn't that delicious looking? Oh my gosh, and I'm making a mess. Okay, so we want to make sure that gets back. There we go. Probably should take a picture of that one. I don't know if I could do that again. It's gorgeous. Let's see. Let's see if you see what I see. Ooh, baby. <laughs> okay, I'll be right back after I get a picture and I'm not going to take a big bite out of his burger. Okay, so now I'm going to give you my burger. And my burger is going to consist of something a little bit different, but that's okay because that's why we're all individual. I'm going to put my burger and the ciabatta roll right there on my plate. And this is big, and I'm probably going to have to eat half tonight and half tomorrow and work out for an hour and I don't care. It's going to be delicious. So um, I'm going to put down some Dijon mustard on mine and then I'm also going to put a, just a smear of a little bit of low fat mayonnaise. I like mayonnaise that's got some I mean, I don't, I don't mind if we have fat in it because we've gone so lean on the meat, but I'm still gonna smear some mayonnaise down. And then, you know, I don't think it's a burger flavor to me if it doesn't have ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. So I'm gonna do a little bit of ketchup, just a little, and I'm going to go with the beautiful fresh spinach, delicious, and 
We're gonna go ahead and put down, I love red onion. I love pickles, I love onions. I just, it's gonna get so big that I can't get it crunched down. And the mammoth burger, <laughs> as it were, is already there. Okay, and then I've got a thin sliced tomato, some avocado, a couple slices of avocado. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna take a bite, but I'm gonna have to smash it down. And those avocados get kind of slippery. Okay, so I'm really gonna press it like a panini sandwich. I might even cut this bad boy in half because I don't see any other way. To get a taste of this. And beans, I'll probably take half of it to work for lunch. Mmm. Look at that. Pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh yeah, that is gorgeous. Okay, pictures. Okay guys, I'm taking a quick bite. I'm running out of battery, so here we go. Mmm. Mm. Wow. I can tell you that is such a delicious burger. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. I hope this inspires you absolutely to enter Greg's contest. And uh, you know what? Get outside and get grilling. It's so nice outside now. And we all have time. Hopefully we all have time. I don't have a lot of time, but... What time I do have, I try to spend it enjoyably. So this is a delicious way to feed your family. Inexpensive, actually. This wasn't expensive at so all. So guys, I really hope this inspires you to cook for your family. I hope um, that it gets you to step outside the box a little bit. And uh, I hope if you like this, you give me a thumbs up. And if you really like it, go ahead and post it on your Facebook, Google+, or Twitter. And we'll share our information with others like we always do. All right, guys. God bless. Happy grilling. See you at the contest. All right. <laughs> Bye.